Hello, welcome, I'm Devil Sniper, and this is episode 13 of my career mode with Newcastle United. So today we're going to start off by having a look at some youngsters we were scouting many, many episodes ago. Um, I've got some reports through, so I'm looking for someone special. If you remember, I'm looking for a defensive-minded player. I want a sort of a, a decent CDM-esque, maybe, left-back, centre-back. Someone midfieldish is what I'm looking for. And John James sticks out a little bit there with his uh, potential maximum being a 91, which I found quite interesting. And unfortunately, I can't sign him because I don't have the requirements in my budget allocation. I just want to thank Mr. Ashley for uh, not putting his hand in his pocket yet again. Something I've battled with all season, the lack of funds. I think uh, overall we've done quite a good job with the money we've had, brought some interesting players in, and uh, yeah, we've done quite well, but it's it's really frustrating not to be able to buy the youngsters, and unfortunately I have to let a few of them go, because they're just not going to, they haven't got the potential, and uh, you know, John James is one I'm going to be keeping an eye on, so hopefully he'll uh, he'll progress really well. And we're at home today, and we welcome them, Norwich City to St James's Park, and this was just a really funny game to be honest, you know. We pick the ball up early doors as normal, and Cissé unleashes a beautiful shot, which is just narrowly wide at the far post. And then Amiobi, he picks the ball up, it gets knocked out to Ben Arthur, he has a crack, and the keeper just gets a hand to it to tip it round the post. And then in typical Newcastle fashion, the only mistake I think he's made all season, Danny Simpson didn't pull up with the rest of the defenders to make a straight line and play the offside trap, and we are punished absolutely punish and that is that is the the worst decision I think Simpson's made all season so you know I can't really have a crack at him that would be really inconsiderate because he's played really really well all season and as you see again Cesar has another beautiful shot that is just wide it's just not meant to be well that's the way it's starting to feel as so we have another shot that's blocked Ben Arthur has a shot and the keeper saves it there was no real power and passion behind that shot to be honest it was a little bit of a, a powder puff to be quite frank and then we have another shot. A slight deflection. I still struggle to see where the deflection was, but it went for a corner. The ball comes in. We get a great header. And at the back post is Barr. An absolute cracking goal. A real goal poacher's goal. And a goal we needed, because that's the way the game finished. 1-1. Extremely disappointed. Not happy at all. And then we welcome West Bromwich Albion. Or actually, we have to go to West Bromwich Albion. We have to go to the Hawthorns. Not a place I particularly like to grow because we're crap on our travels. It's not good. It's not good going away from home. Then again, saying that, our home form struggling at the moment. We have an early chance. Nothing special. The same with West Brom. You know, they were very, they played very negatively. They didn't always come forward. They were more intent on putting men behind the ball and, and pushing forward with two. Three absolute max, as you can see from this image here. You know, they've, they've only got the three forward, and then they're backtracking a lot of men behind the ball, and that made it a really hard game. And the only decent thing I can take from the game is our possession. You know, we kept the ball really well. We moved the ball around really, really well. We were quite effective at times moving the ball around. As you can see from this piece, we're knocking the ball around into the double figures. Absolutely beautiful passing and then Kabai picks up and thinks I've had enough of passing here comes a rocket son and he nicks a goal in the 21st minute to make it 1-0 a fantastic goal I might add he has been an absolute gem this season I would recommend anybody purchasing him and if you're interested please do contact me I'll be looking in the region of about 30 million and then Collagini in the final minute of the game commits an absolute cardinal sin he gives away a penalty he sent off, and we're staring a consecutive draw. But we're not, because the keeper comes to our rescue. Absolute blinding save. I was so chuffed with that. And I'll take a 1 0. You know, it wasn't the best game. We kept the ball really well. We didn't create a great deal of chances. But, you know, that's football. That's the way it goes, you know. When you do get your chances, you've got to take them. As we can see, Conor going to be banned for two matches. I really could do without that. You know, he's been a rock all season an absolute bloody rock so I was really disappointed by his decision to the ball was there I suppose to go for he went for it slightly mistimed so it's not too bad but I just really need him in the team you know he's not a player I could do without but you know that's that's football and having a look about the youth development I saw this lad play for the under 18s and to be fair 
he's all right. He needs a few more games there, I think, before I consider loaning him out. He needs to muscle up a little bit. A little bit too skinny for my liking. He needs to put a bit more muscle on him and uh, get in there a bit more. He's, he's a little bit lacklustre when it comes to that. Anyway, looking at the league table, it still doesn't make pretty reading. Even though we are in respectable seventh position, we have played 30 games now. We've won 13. Drew six, lost far too many in 11 games. We've scored 47, conceded 36 again. We've conceded far too many goals. And we're sitting on 45 points with seven points off sixth place, which is just really not acceptable. And then we welcome Liverpool to St. James's Park. And down the years, there's been some absolutely cracking games between the two sides at St. James's and at Anfield. And uh, I'm hoping today it's going to be another cracking game. Well, that was the intention, you know. The team talk basically surrounded, you know, get in amongst them, try and annoy Gerard, keep Suarez quiet and uh, keep down in quiet and basically nullify them. And we start really lively. We have a fantastic shot, which is the keeper sort of parries. I don't know why. It was easy just to, to take that one in and catch it. And then suicide. The Tongan just sort of, I don't know, goes blank in the head and forgets to track his man. Suarez just lets himself in. And takes the lead 1-0 for Liverpool, which was really disappointing. And, you know, we really battled hard, but we just we just couldn't get anywhere. Gerrard just put an easy ball through again. Vertonghen had again gone missing, allowed Suarez a simple goal, and we lost 2-0. Quite a disappointing game, quite frustrated. But what can you do? What can you do? 